Hey everyone, this is David B, back with more adventures from the Nature Center. So about an hour and a half ago, which was about 7.15 in the evening, my boss texted me and said, Okay, this is an odd request, but apparently a box of live worms has been delivered and might be outside the lower door. Can you take a look and put the box in the herp room fridge? Okay, herp room means herpetology room. So it's a room with all of these animals like snakes and turtles and there's an alligator. So apparently something in there eats worms. So this package was delivered after hours, but it needs to be put away because it needs to be uh, refrigerated. Okay, sounds simple enough. Go get the box, put it in the fridge. First, I go over and I can't find the box. Well, it turns out there's someone inside the nature center working late in the evening and she got the box. So I eventually found her and got the box and um, headed over to the herp room to put it away. So I opened the box. It was the outside, the outer box that it shipped in was just a regular cardboard box. So I opened that up. And inside there was a white insulated box, like a styrofoam type material. Okay, I pull that out. And then that had straps on it. Okay, cut those off. Okay, I have it open. But there's ice packs inside that need taken out before I can put it in the fridge. So the first ice pack is just on top. And beneath it, you know, there's there's soil, dirt with just worms wiggling around everywhere in it. So I pull the ice first ice pack out. Okay. And it's, you know, there's worms hanging off of it. I'm, I'm hitting them. They're falling back into their box, whatever. Okay. Take that one out. But then I realize, oh, there's another ice pack that's buried under all of the soil. So now I'm digging down into the soil with my hands to pull out this ice pack and I'm touching worms and it's slimy and it's gross and disgusting. My hands are getting filthy. So, okay. I get that ice pack out. And then I'm checking to see, okay, is there any any other ice packs buried in, in the soil? So there wasn't. Okay, you know, whatever. Got those out. You know, I touched a couple worms, not a big deal. Okay, put the lid back on the box and go to put it in the refrigerator. Well, there's a problem. There's already a big box like that in the refrigerator. And I can't fit this new box in the fridge with that one in there. So... I had a couple of options and um, what I ended up doing was there was a, a, an upper shelf that I ended up having to take out, but there were some, there were some items on the shelf already, um, other kinds of food. There was a bag of grapes. There was some kind of leafy green. I don't think it was lettuce, but it was something similar. Okay. I moved those. And then there was a round plastic container. Okay. I picked that and moved it. Didn't really look at it. Well, after I set it down, I realized it was, a container full of these dead white mice that apparently they feed to the snakes. So I moved those and then I had to pull the entire shelf out of the refrigerator. So I took the shelf out. Then I took the new box. I set it on top of the old box. And then I took the shelf and I put it back in and set the dead mice on top of that. And it was just a whole big fiasco. And then I was I was texting with my boss and I had asked him, I said, I can either dump the new box into the old one or I can take the shelf out. And after I had already done all this, I saw his reply. Oh, you can just dump it in the old box. And I texted back and I said, no, I, I touched enough worms. I, you know, I, I took the shelf out, everything fit, you know, that's it. So that was my adventure. And my hands were, were filthy. And then I said, well, what do I do with the ice packs? Well, you need to, can you go throw them in the dumpster? Okay. So now I'm carrying these dirty ice packs. My hands are filthy again. I take it out to the dumpster and throw it out. Not a big deal. <sighs> so that, that was my adventure for tonight. And then by this time, it's like pitch black out. And then I go and I, the woman had left. So I check the doors of the nature center. And then I go up to the other building and check the doors there. But someone had left some lights on inside. So I had to go get the key, open the building, go inside. Does big creepy dark building at night to turn these lights off and there's a thunderstorm approaching and i had already taken a shower after work because it's really hot here it was like 31 celsius today so i was sweaty from working outside so i had taken a shower thinking okay i'll have a nice relaxing evening but then um you know my boss texted and all this stuff and um 
So the whole thing took me about an hour to do. And now I'm back and you can see I'm sweaty and nasty. I'm going to have to take another shower. But there's a thunderstorm moving in. So it's like, you know, do I risk getting electrocuted by trying to take a shower with this thunderstorm approaching? Do I wait until the storm passes? Ugh, I don't know. But um, yeah, it's always an adventure. And um, I'm glad that my job is to count migrating birds and not dealing with uh, dead mice and live worms and snakes and alligators. So that was my adventure for tonight. This is David B. Thanks for watching.